Listen, did you know the moon is about to play the ultimate game of tag and turn into a giant floating cherry? And it might even make your dog want to sing opera? It's all true. Well, mostly. Let's find out. Get ready. Stargazers, nerds, and Big Bang Theory fans to break down the biggest, most mysterious night show in the universe. The full corn moon eclipse. It's like the moon is trying on a scary costume for a few hours. We're going to learn how this awesome trick works. And let me tell you, the sun and earth are the best magicians around. Then my friends, we will dig into three moon mysteries that are so puzzling. They've got the smartest scientists on earth saying, Houdini, how does that work? Oh, <laughs> okay my friends, get ready for a fun trip. All right team, let's meet the players. First, we have Mr. Sun. His job is to be a giant cosmic flashlight, shining on everyone. Then we have Mr. Earth. That's us. Yes, me and you. We're just hanging out, spinning around. And finally, our little buddy, Mr. Moon, who orbits around us like we're the best thing since sliced bread. Now, an eclipse is what happens when Earth gets a little too much in the way. It slowly moves right between the sun and the moon, like that one friend who always photobombs your pictures. It casts its big, and it creates a long umbra. The word umbra comes from Latin, meaning shadow. But if the moon is in a shadow, why doesn't it just go completely black? Here's the cool part. Earth has a superpower. Oh yeah, it's atmosphere. That's the blanket of air we breathe. When sunlight squeezes through this blanket, all the grumpy blue light gets scattered away. That's why the sky is blue. But the happy, relaxed red light? It just sneaks right around the edges. This red light travels all the way to the moon and gives it a big, rosy makeover. So a blood moon isn't scary. It's really the moon getting a hug from all the sunsets and sunrises happening on Earth all at once. Aw, oh, it's so nice, right? Sit tight and wait for it, my friends. Now for the part I love the most, the mysteries. Believe it or not, the moon has some secrets it won't tell anyone. Not even the smartest astronomers and nerds with their giant telescopes. These are real puzzles that scientists are still trying to solve. And not a hard level of a Minecraft mission you are trying to solve in your bedroom. I'm not saying the moon is a prank master, but have you ever heard that a full moon turns people into werewolves? Or makes everyone act a little... loony? People swear they can't sleep as well. Or that animals act weird. But here's the head scratcher. When scientists try to study this, like really study it with notebooks and graphs, they can't find any solid proof. It's like the moon is playing the world's biggest practical joke. So why does the story persist, and even Hollywood has created hundreds of movies about it? Well, apparently, is it just a super fun, spooky tale we all love to tell? Or is the moon whispering something so subtle to us that our science tools can't hear it yet? Okay guys, let's imagine you're sunbathing on a beach in Miami. You're nice and toasty. Then, a giant cloud moves in front of the sun. You get a little chilly, right? Well, the moon experiences that time's a billion. Its surface can be hotter than your oven at lunchtime, but during an eclipse, it plunges to colder than Antarctica in the middle of the night. And it does this in just a few hours. Imagine that. The mystery is that sometimes, right after the eclipse ends, scientists using heat vision cameras see little spots heat up incredibly fast like the moon has secret hot pockets buried just under its skin. Now think about a little bit. How is it doing that? And is it gas? Are they special moon rocks? I know there are many questions just popped up in your heads, but the answer is... Exactly. We don't know yet. Okay guys, listen now. This might be the weirdest one of all. So. Back during the Apollo missions, astronauts left behind super special mirrors on the moon. Scientists on Earth love to play the world's biggest game of laser tag with them. They shoot a super powered laser beam at the mirror, and it bounces right back like Sheldon Cooper did in the Big Bang Theory on the roof of the building. 
This helps them measure the moon's distance down to the inch. But during a total eclipse, fizzle, the laser beam gets all weak and sometimes just gives up. It's like the mirror is there, but it's hiding under an invisible blanket. But the question is, why? The moon is still there. One idea is that the crazy temperature change makes the mirror housing warp. Another super wacky idea is that gravity itself acts a little funny in a shadow. It's a true space mystery that proves our moon is one tricky customer. So when you go outside with your dog to see the big, beautiful red corn moon, you'll know you're not just looking at a rock in space. You're a witness to the greatest magic show in the solar system. You'll see the awesome power of light and shadows, and you'll also know that you're looking at a giant, friendly space mystery. It's a reminder that our universe is full of beautiful things we understand, and even more amazing things waiting for a future scientist, maybe you, to discover. Who knows? So let's review, team. The eclipse happens because, one, Earth blocks the sun's light, and two, our atmosphere bends red light onto the moon, giving it a glow up. But remember the three big head scratchers. Does the moon really change how we act? Or why does the moon have secret hotspots? And finally, why do the moon mirrors stop working? Well, my friends, science has the first part figured out, but the rest of the puzzle is still being solved. Want to solve another space mystery? Comment down below what mystery or puzzles you would like to explore together and dive deep to uncover the secrets and share more information about global events. Like and subscribe if you like the video and thank you for your support. See you next video.